Hey guys, Steve with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'm going to show you how to repair damaged chain adjuster bolts. Often when you go to adjust your chain, your adjustment bolts can be damaged. This could be due from corrosion and they're seized, to stripped heads, to bent, broken, or lost. But I've got some scenarios and solutions to fix your problem. To do this job, you'll need a basic set of hand tools, gloves, anti-seize, penetration lube, and safety glasses. Depending on the problem you're having with your chain adjusters, you may need additional tools, such as a tap and die set, some drill bits, maybe some vice grips. Here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we offer a variety of tusk thread repair kits in case your problem gets more severe. Well, let's get started. First, we wanna go ahead and remove the rear wheel uh, so that we can gain the most access as we can to the adjusters to work on them. I'm gonna go ahead and use my 27 millimeter uh, wrench and loosen the back axle nut and remove the axle and wheel. Now that we have access, the first scenario I wanna show you is that this chain adjuster will be stuck in the swing arm or seized in it. There's two things you can use that help out a lot. Penetration lube's one and heat is the other. Uh, applying penetration lube, it will soak into the fastener and hopefully loosen that up. Uh, heat, on the other hand, what it's gonna do is, is you can heat up the metal and let that expand and that will also help free it up. Um, using a torch on this, probably not a good idea. We're gonna use a heat gun on this because we don't wanna damage his, his powder coating. And then the other thing that we wanna do is use a good six point socket. Uh, if you use a open end wrench or a box wrench, you're more likely to strip the head of the bolt and we don't wanna make it worse. So we might as well start out with the best case scenario uh, to get this bolt out. I'm going to use the Maxima multi-purpose penetration lube and go ahead and apply that. Now we're gonna apply heat. We want to move it around for better heat transfer. Now I'm gonna use my 12 millimeter six point deep socket. You may need to tap it on with a hammer so that the socket will seat well and loosen the nut. Now we wanna use our 10 millimeter six point short socket to break the bolt loose. If the bolt still wants to be stubborn, you might need to apply more penetration lube and heat. Sometimes when you apply a lot of torque, you can actually bend the bolt. You can see that this one is bent, um, so just be careful of that as well. So for the second scenario I wanna show you is the head of the bolt and nut are both stripped. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to use the same procedure with your heat and your penetration lube. And I would go ahead and try your 12 millimeter six point deep socket first. Um, and you'll have to try and tap that on. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then go ahead and, and use your vice grips and get a hold of it and try and break it loose that way. You can see that the 10 millimeter bolt had come loose. But if it didn't, go ahead and repeat the process with the socket and your vice grips. So the last option I wanna show you today is if the bolt breaks off. Uh, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use your penetration lube and heat. Uh, and there's a few options. You can take an existing nut and you could tack weld that on the end and, and back it out that way, or you could use a bolt extracting tool. Um, we're gonna show you how to do that today. Some of these extraction kits come with a drill bit, some don't, but you're gonna wanna use a high quality drill bit as a lot of these bolts are, are hardened steel. First, we're gonna wanna take a center punch and we're gonna wanna make an indentation in the center of the bolt so that our drill bit has a good start. Next, take your drill bit, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure to stay center while drilling throughout the whole bolt. The extractor kit I'm using uses a splined pin and nut. Whatever bolt extractor you use, make sure to read and follow the instructions. Now let's take the splined pin and go ahead and tap it into the center of the bolt. Now I'll take the splined nut and slide it over the splined pin. Now I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter deep socket and slide it over the spline nut and back it out. Now that we've got our bolt out, we wanna clean the threads out before we install our tusk chain adjuster. To do this, we offer a few thread chase tools that you can use to clean those out. If your threads are too damaged, then we offer a tusk thread repair kit that essentially oversizes the hole, you put an insert in, and then you can install your chain adjuster. Our threads are in good shape, so we're gonna go ahead and use our thread chase tool to clean that out, and some contact cleaner and compressed air. 
we're going to go ahead and use the Tusk Chain Adjuster Hardware Kit. These are a high grade replacement and they are less expensive than the OE hardware kits. Keep in mind that the kit comes with an adjuster for each side of your swing arm. Also, be sure to put a little anti-seize on the threads before you install it. And that's it. Taking preventive measures like anti-seize will minimize future repairs and keep your bike working great. Make sure to refer to your OEM service manual for proper safety information, procedures, and torque specs. And go to Rocky Mountain ATV MC for a huge selection of parts, apparel, and accessories. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to product spotlights and bike builds. This is your go-to mechanic, Steve. Catch you next time.